A deadly protest in Iran has caught the world's attention. This after an Iranian woman dies in police custody in the country for wearing her headscarf improperly. New tonight, I talked with a woman here in the Triangle who is bringing awareness to what happened. You are looking at protests in Iran where dozens are reportedly dead. 1,200 have been arrested, and there is no timetable when the unrest will end. It all started after Masa Amini died in police custody for wearing a scarf improperly. As soon as I heard she's dead, I just started crying. It was not a cry of, you know, feeling a pity for her, but my anger. It was my anger and uh, unacceptable thing that happened to her. Samin Poya grew up in Iran. She moved to the Triangle 10 years ago and shared Amini's cases motivating young Iranians to speak out against decades of repression. It's been 44 years. My people are suffering from this, um, this government, actually, these leaders. As the protests continue, the Iranian government is working to restrict the flow of communication by restricting Internet access so less will know about Amini's case. But Poya and friends will lift their voices on Monday evening from 6 to 8. They will gather on the steps of the Wake County Courthouse and light candles and talk about what happened to Amini. We researched some more information. The White House has expanded the range of Internet services available to Iranians during the protests to help communication flowing in that country.